So now that we've got the interface going for our panel, let's have a look at the callbacks. You can add a callback to a Python panel by simply adding a method called knob changed. So let's do that. Knob changed with a capital C. And the first argument will be the panel itself, and the second argument will be its knob, or the knob that is being changed by the user. So as a quick test, I usually just print the knob's name to make sure everything's going the way I want it to go, and run the code and uh, bring up a new instance of that panel. And now with this callback in place, any knob changed event will print the respective knob's name. So we get notes here, we get update here, replace here, if I change the search for knob and change focus away, we get its name here and the same for the replace string. So obviously those callbacks now need to do something useful. So let's have a look at an external file that I'm using to do the actual work for us. And that's this guy here. This is actually based on the default search replace Python script that comes with Nuke. So if you look into your Nuke scripts directory in the install directory, you will find a file called search underscore replace.py and that will look very similar to this stuff here. The only thing I've done is I've removed the old panel code and made this function simply return the node matches and the knob matches so we can then work with it. So we have this guy just do all the work for us and take it from there. So in my case this lives in an external module called ohumisk. So let me import that at the top of my code. And now I also want to bring in a little bit of code that will use that external function to help me control this found knob. So let's quickly go through that. So the method is called search result. The first user argument it takes is the string, so that will be the value of this knob. And the second argument it takes is the list of nodes we want to operate on, so that will be either selected or all. It then extracts the node matches and the knob matches from the file we just looked at by giving it the respective arguments here and here. It then creates a list of node names which is then used in a bit of string formatting here along with the actual amount of nodes that were found in the match and then it assigns that new string that it created to that info knob of ours so this formatted string will then show up in the middle here. And once it's done with that, it will actually return the knob matches to us so we can then perform the actual replacing action. So with all this in place, let's go ahead and replace the print test here and actually make this do something useful. So the first thing I want to do to simplify something that will come up in a second is I'll create a dictionary for either the selected nodes or the all nodes option. You'll see in a second why. So I'm going to call this SRC nodes. Let's make that N a capital N. So that's for source nodes and the dictionary will have a key for each of those two items in the drop-down list. So the first key will be all. And if the user chooses all, we will return nuke.all nodes. And if the user chooses selected, we want to get nuke.selected nodes. Cool. Okay. But we don't want this to happen all the time when just any knob is changed and also the subsequent code shouldn't be run every time when just any knob is changed. We only want this to run when a certain set of knobs is changed. And that set will be self.nodeschoice. So that's our drop-down list here. And also self.searchstr. and also self.update. So I've put those three knobs into a tuple. You can also put them into a list. Same difference in this case. And that's this knob here, this knob here, and the update button. So I can now control the callback that is supposed to happen only for those three things and nothing's going to happen for the other knobs. So let's do the if statement for that. If knob in. So this basically says if the current knob that has just been changed is one of those three knobs, then do something. And that something is create this dictionary and then finally use the method we created above by going self dot search result and the search result function needs 
the search string first, which is the value of our self.searchstr knob. So that is this knob here. So we'll put that in as the first argument and we want its value to be passed along. So we go dot value. And the second argument is the list of nodes that we want to operate on. And that's where our dictionary comes into play. So we'll just look up whether we want all nodes or selected nodes by typing src nodes and as the key to that oops capital N and as the key to that dictionary we will use the value of the drop down list and the drop down list is called self dot nodes choice so let me just copy the name here and once again use its value as the key to the dictionary so we get either nuke dot all nodes or nuke dot selected nodes back and finally let's close that function call and run the whole thing.